Gothel was alive a long time. Mother Gothel spent hundreds of years thriving off the magic of the golden sundrop flower. And while we all know she raised Rapunzel in a mysterious tower hidden deep within Corona, the truth was that she had spent many years in a different hideout before the birth of Rapunzel that was filled with magic and research. Throughout the stories that continue to come from Tangled the series, we learn a little more about where Gothel hid, what she had been doing, and the darkness within her heart. And today we're going to begin to pull back the layers behind Gothel and break down everything that we have learned about her from just before she fled to her tower with the sun drop. Hello, I'm Isaac from Monster Videos where we discuss fun topics for fun people. I'm focused on spreading magic by discussing Disney, so if you are new here, consider subscribing. If you are a returning fun person, it's so nice to see your smiling faces, and if you're a fan of the many animated characters of Disney, which I'd assume you are if you stumbled upon my channel and you enjoy building collections, then consider joining today's sponsor, Disney Collect by Tops. This is an app that allows you to get virtual cards of characters like Rapunzel, Stitch, Hercules, Simba, and of course, Mickey Mouse. With the cards you open, you can work to complete sets, craft them into rarer cards, and even trade them with other fans around the world or friends you've connected with in the app. I'm a huge fan of collecting Disney items from the parks and movies, so it's exciting to see a fun place exists where you can begin your very own Disney collections from anywhere. And if you like to begin building your own sets of Disney cards, make sure to follow my link below and follow me on the app. Just search WOTSO and we can start trading and having a magical time. Again, follow the top link in the description to join Disney Collect by Tops and start enjoying the process of amassing your very own own Disney collection. It feels good having consistent Disney content coming out each week, and it's so fun to be able to explore each new episode of Tangled as it releases. As someone who has become really connected to the show and its characters, I have definitely been selfish and have made a lot of videos about this show, but you seem to be enjoying it, which gets me even more excited to share my thoughts and everything we have learned from the most recent episode, A Tale of Two Sisters. From the very beginning of this final season of Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure, we have been able to see Mother Gothel's presence in the story really rise again. While the first two seasons definitely propelled Rapunzel's life forward and grew her world beyond anything that I could have possibly imagined, with the experience Cassandra had within the mystical house of yesterday's tomorrow, Gothel suddenly became a part of Rapunzel's tale again. You see, Cassandra learns from her vision from the demonic Zontiri that she was in fact the daughter of Mother Gothel. Now, if you'd like to learn everything about who this little enchanted girl is, definitely check out one of my previous videos about her. But for now, just understand that she's just a little bit Rapunzel's greatest foe. Not to hype her up too much or anything. By seeing a vision of the past within the cottage where Cassandra had initially been raised, Cass learned the truth about herself, and we were suddenly seeing a glimpse into who Gothel was prior to Rapunzel and living in the tower. I'll spoil it for you right now, Gothel was still a pretty horrible woman before she ever had the embodiment of the sundrop in her life. She was vain, she was cold, she was just a source of darkness. Do you really think that woman cared about anyone but herself? Similarly to how Mother Gothel put Rapunzel down and expected so much of her, Gothel had done all of that to Cassandra as well, demanding that Cass focus on serving her and only giving Cass shreds of hope that she would ever love her. Looking back on these moments, it's especially hard to watch someone who seemed so strong, powerful, and tough as Cassandra bend to the desires of such a cruel person. I think it's tragic when people go back to others that just aren't right for them. And that's exactly what happened to Cassandra when she discovered the truth in that vision. I saw a user on Twitter point this out that Cass has always idolized the parental figure she looks up to, and she shapes her life around becoming like them. Cassandra did that with her father, who raised her, who was the captain of the guards, which led her to desire that position one day, and once she learned about Gothel, she lashed on to the idea of her mother and became a strong, ruthless force even though her mother hadn't earned that love from Cassandra. 
Gothel had both raised Cassandra and Rapunzel for a part of their lives, but that doesn't mean that she should be praised for the effort she put in. She didn't go above and beyond, she did what was necessary to keep these two girls alive and under her control. And that's exactly what we saw from Mother Gothel. And all Gothel ever wanted from me was my hair. She didn't love me. She didn't love either of us. As soon as Gothel had to choose between her own life and her daughter's, she immediately sacrificed Cassandra so that she could remain hidden with the Sundrop under her possession. Again, maybe you could argue that she was leading the guards there so that they could find Cass, but I think it's just more likely she knew that she could separate herself from these guards at a place that she was familiar with, because the fact of the matter was that she lived at the cottage for a very, very long time. Gothel, in fact, is, you know, pretty old, so she was bound to have a few secrets she left behind before her demise, and that was definitely the case. You see, years later, when Rapunzel and Cassandra went back to Cass's childhood home, when rumors were circulating of a ghost of Mother Gothel out in the world, the two sisters discovered a secret door leading to an underground lair that held Mother Gothel's magical secrets. Kind of all my predictions and thoughts around her kind of all became clear when we started getting to explore this little place. Here, we learn Mother Gothel had been studying the Sundrop and the Moonstone, almost creating her own version of the Demanitus Scroll. She had recorded the sun incantation along with all of her research across the walls next to texts and bottles of an explosive substance that Rapunzel discovers is pretty dangerous later when it falls over. But before that oopsie happens, they also see that the room is covered in mirrors that, when touched, reveal images played back from the past. Gothel had magic mirrors that pretty much were just used to chronicle all the amazing compliments people gave her about her youthful looks. Kind of a selfish way to use home video, but Gothel was kind of a self-obsessed person. Oh, Cassandra, won't you be a dear and sweep a little quieter? So not only did Mother Gothel watch over the Sundrop Flower long into the past, but she was also protecting the magic she was using and researching at the same time. This further just solidifies to me that Gothel was something else. I don't think she was someone who only loved herself, and that's why she went after the Sunflower. I think there's more to her story that we are going to get in these final episodes of Tangled the Series that has been alluded to a little bit. Yes, these magic mirrors kind of support the wild theory that I saw around the internet a while ago saying that Gothel could be the evil queen, but I don't think that's true. In fact, I think she's a part of something much more despicable in Rapunzel's world. From what I can tell, Gothel was, or in my mind more likely is, connected to the evil demonic entity Zontiri, but we'll just have to wait and see on that one. Now, when Rapunzel and Cassandra were uncovering some of the hidden secrets behind Mother Gothel beneath her cottage, one item stuck out to Cassandra, which confirmed the history that she remembered. As we've been discussing, Gothel never seemed to really care about Cass, but while Cassandra's memories of her did have some troubling moments, Mostly, she feels like Rapunzel stole her loving mother from her. Though I don't really know why she would blame Rapunzel for this, as Rapunzel even attempted to explain to her, It's not like I asked to be taken from my parents by a madwoman. But when Cass stumbles upon a magic mirror that showcases Gothel and her together and happy, she prioritizes this loving moment over everything, especially when she believes that Rapunzel was attempting to keep it from her. I love you, Mom. The truth was, though, that the crack in that mirror came about because of the dark entity Zontiri, which held the final moments of that scene within it. That sliver of magic showed the reality of who Gothel was as a mother. Ugh, hopefully that'll keep her out of my hair for a while. Lousy little pest. So, who was Mother Gothel just before she took the Sundrop up into the secret tower? Gothel was a woman who had spent hundreds of years alive protecting the golden flower, studying its power, crafting her own knowledge, using her own magic, and manipulating those around her to her will. She's a woman of many secrets, who I believe contributed to darkness arising throughout Rapunzel's world, and whose actions continue to curse those who interacted with her. While she pretended to be kind, caring, and compassionate, she only took actions to provide power for herself. 
Honestly, in my mind, I think this shows you don't have to be a stepmother in Disney to be one cruel woman. But let me know in the comments section what you think, and while you're down there, be sure to like this video and subscribe and click the beautiful bell for more magical videos like this one. Also, it'd mean a lot if you followed all my adventures over on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Watso Videos, checked out my podcast Following Dreams, and began your Disney collection by joining today's sponsor, Disney Collect by Tops, by going through my link in the description. Thanks for watching, and have a magical day.